I got a phone call from my wife at about uh, 1.30, I think it was, 1.25, and uh, letting me know that uh, she had just heard a report that there was a fire at uh, mile marker 233, which is our, our house. So in the span of a couple of minutes, uh, she made it down the hill and called me back and said, and she, it was noticeable, noticeably upset and uh, said that I needed to come home now. So um, I broke a few speed limit, uh, <laughs> speed limit laws heading home. Uh, by the time I got there, the fire had circled and crossed the road. And my concern was, is it getting into a uh, drainage that comes down behind our house? And we have a 117 year old barn on our property. And that was my immediate concern. Um, you don't necessarily think too clearly in, in those sorts of moments that I didn't think much about the house, but certainly was thinking about the barn. But it was, you know, just looking at uh, Chief Odie uh, and uh, Fire District 4 and some of the first responders, um, just the job they did was amazing. Um, and, and realizing quickly that they needed to call in support. Um, and I guess, Eric, for me, watching over the course of the next seven, eight hours, uh, while they fought the fire. What really stood out to me was just the communication that went on between them, the other fire districts that showed up, uh, DNR, um, BLM, uh, the, the Sheriff's Department, Douglas County Sheriff's Department, uh, State Patrol. Uh, they were all, this was at ground zero at our place, and they were it, just the communication and the uh, the coordinated effort that went on was, uh, was really significant. That's, you know, something that I haven't always heard that occurs, but it certainly did in this case, and it was pretty amazing.